Hey guys, so time to do a quick little side by side comparison here between the brand new version of Android, Android 5.0 Lollipop here on my Nexus 5 uh, versus the iPhone 6 iOS 8. And let's just compare them a little bit here side by side uh, look. So that could definitely be some, some fun things to go over. Uh, so to start off here, uh, this is of course the start page on both these two devices. Uh, I haven't set up more pages here uh, on this um, uh, the Nexus 5 here with Android 5 but uh, you can just go into the app drawer here because this one has an app drawer you just open up there in, down here while of course Apple always used to have apps you know <laughs> so let's just uh, drag one of these things out let's say the calendar and we can drag it on top of a new window and now you can see we used to have used pages like this and you said you do have it with uh, uh, with with the um, the iPhone <clears throat> so let's uh, let's check it out here so first off uh, we do have one thing of course here uh, with Google that's kind of cool and that is uh, that they always have here in the top uh, they they have the search widget and now of course if you want to search on the iPhone you can just either go down like that uh, to bring up the spotlight or you can just use Siri so you just hold in like this What's up? Hello there. So that's your voice assistant there, of course. Uh, but also, of course, you have a voice assistant here, Google Now. So you can say, OK, Google, search cats. So of course, just because it's Google Now, you can just say what you uh, want to type in Google. So cats. The domestic cat is a small, usually furry, domesticated, and carnivorous mammal. And here, of course, you can search for cats. Search cats. Okay, I found this on the web for cats. So, you know, just a quick little, quick little thing there. Um, so, um, uh, let's just drag down uh, up here at the top. Uh, this, of course, the cool thing with, uh, or the cool thing, the interesting thing here with the uh, with iOS is of course that you now have some widgets and of course that uh, is a little bit interesting uh, that they have improved that uh, earlier they didn't have any widgets so now when we drag down here from uh, the top you can see some widgets here that I've added uh, like this little random widget here um, widgets you know that's what it's called but if you go down to the bottom tap on edit you can add more widgets you can download some more widgets and uh, add them of course in android you already have widgets on on these pages that you can add now the question is how you add widgets inside of yeah there we go you can use so hold in there and you can just tap on widgets here and then you can just do something here put it out like an analog clock or something and like that's, that's of course how an, uh, how a widget works inside of uh, the um, inside of the uh, Android 5 method. Uh, of course, you drag from the bottom here on the iPhone to get some quick toggles here. While you all have all of the quick toggles here, if you two two finger swipe from the top. Uh, inside of uh, Android Photo Lollipop, you do get some quick things like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, as you can see here, same airplane mode. Uh, you also have a quick flashlight here on both devices. So you can turn that on. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Let's just uh, disable that. Uh, cost screen, so you can cost it to a Chromecast, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we here in I uh, here in Android Phone though we have this new material UI design uh, so it's been updated and that's something that I gotta say I, th I think it looks a little bit more in cool uh, than iOS I mean has some more interesting animations uh, you don't get those kinds of cool animations here inside of uh, inside of um, inside of iOS 8 I mean it's a little bit more simplistic.
but I gotta say, I think it looks a little bit more impressive here uh, inside of Android 5.0, a little bit more interesting. So if you go into settings here on both these two devices, this is also one little bit random thing here. When you go into settings here, you have to tap on that app icon and it just feels like they need to update that. Um, so you can kind of see here, uh, both have like a white design and they both have kind of like an effect when you go down, but it looks a little bit different. Uh, you get like a bigger font here inside of um, inside of uh, Android 5.0. Kind of see here, uh, not as rounded design uh, inside of uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, you do have some interesting here like multitasking, which looks pretty interesting here inside of the new version. Yeah, of uh, of Android, I, th I think it looks more cool because let's just open up some more things here, like the clock. We can also open up the clock up here. Let's open up the clock, and let's also let's say we open up the the calculator, and then we go to the multitasking area. Here you can just double tap. Here you can just tap on that little button. So I gotta say, it looks a little bit more interesting here inside of them. Um, inside of Android Falcon though, because you can kind of see this like cool effect, you can just drag like this. And also if you have Safari opened up in different tabs, uh, or I mean, not, I mean the browser, like the Chrome browser, you should be able to have different tabs in here from what I've heard. And you can see, this is like a cool effect, you can just swipe, but it kind of feels like they made a little bit more like, you know, it looks cool in iOS 8 as well, but it doesn't really feel like it feels just as cool. It's also cool that you can swipe them both directions. Here you can't do that inside of iOS, inside of iOS 8, which is a little bit annoying. Console. So let's uh, let's uh, also like uh, check out how the boot down screen looks. So I gotta say it looks a little bit more cool here probably in iOS 8. Here it's just like very, very simplistic, but then again, this is the preview build. Um, of course you do have this new kind of design inside of the Play Store here. You can kind of see this updated design. Uh, so let's just go and uh, let's see if we can find the same app, that would be fun. But if we go into an app page here, and say we go in here, uh, they have this new kind of cool design, I gotta say, here inside of Android 5.0, uh, where it kind of becomes the same kind of color uh, at the top bar as uh, this other thing. And you can see cool animations like that. Uh, versus iOS 8, which is a little bit more, they don't have that same kind of flashy effect. It still looks good though, but for some reason, it just feels like Android is a little bit more there, fresh looks a little bit more updated um, so that's quite nice you can also see different colors there and then again I mean Apple just seems to be focusing mainly here inside of the App Store of course with apps 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 when here you do get all kinds of things like music and uh, movies I just think it's very very nice that they've integrated all of course you have like the iTunes app here iBooks and then uh, you have different apps for that, but it kind of feels like it's better to have it all in, in one place instead of having the App Store, iTunes Store, and iBooks. I mean, this is like a lot of stores, you know, to to keep track of. Uh, so um, let's uh, let's uh, move on here and uh, let's just check out the camera app as well. So you can kind of see that they do have some similar features. Uh, they kind of look a lot similar in many ways. But um, here you have to tap to go into pictures. And the cool thing here with Android is you can just quickly swipe. Uh, you can also swipe here from the side. It says Apple also have this uh, side swipe thing here. Here you can swipe to this side. But uh, both very, very nice, very, very freshly updated here. Uh, so let's also take a look at uh, the, the browser experience here. Uh, so let's go to the same kind of website. So 
So let's just see how the keyboard looks here side by side. Uh, I gotta say, I, I really, really do enjoy the Android keyboard. Uh, of course, you can have third party keyboards, of course, uh, with, uh, with Android and with uh, iOS. So you can like change uh, keyboards up even more. But you definitely want to try the Android keyboard. It really, really feels feels nice to to type with for some reason. So now, when we load up the four pages here, you can see uh, a lot of similarities here. Uh, both are having, of course, a pretty nice experience. Okay, load it up way quicker there. Uh, you do have this cool way though with, um, with Safari browser that you can just go back this way just by going down like that and it have like saved the earlier page versus here, you can't swipe back. You have to like tap on that little back button. Uh, they should have not fixed that inside of, inside of Android I think personally because this is really, really a nice little thing. Wow, that's a weird story. For some reason, sometimes here it doesn't want to go in. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong in the new uh, Chrome Chrome version. I do enjoy here that you can go scroll up and down quicker inside of the Chrome browser versus Safari browser where you can you have to swipe so much. I just find it a little bit annoying. The good thing here with the iPhone, of course, is this uh, reading mode here, which is extremely useful. It's also available uh, on a bunch of different um, uh, other smartphones in Android world, but it doesn't seem to be here inside of the inside of the Chrome browser, which is I just find that a little bit annoying. Had this nice little card view here in uh, multi or in the uh, tab mode, and you have also a pretty nice card view mode here inside of iOS. But then again, we have a better system here. You can swipe here to the side. Yeah, that one you can also swipe. I don't think you can swipe both directions though, uh, which is uh, a little bit annoying there. Not a big deal, but uh, it's slightly annoying. So just a quick little side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, definitely let me know which one is uh, your favorite. That would definitely be fun to hear. I do enjoy both phones here, of course. I really, really do. I love them. Uh, I love the next, uh, uh, and I can't wait to get hands on on the next Nexus 6 and also on the Galaxy Note 4. And also, if you want me to check out any other smartphones, definitely let me know about that. And I definitely will see what I can do. So, yeah, just quickly side by side look here and uh, have an awesome day. Peace out.